Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Today, we're going to continue our adventure through this game, and last episode was very fun for me, because we found a very rare Pokemon called Farfetch, and evolved them immediately into Surfetch, which was really cool. So, this is probably going to be a permanent team member, just because of how cool he is, I think. Although, right now, we're going to be swapping him out for Yamper in the front. And we're going to do some training and going through some routes and stuff. So, yeah, we're going through the route. We're kind of catching a lot of Pokemon because there's a lot of new ones on this route. But we got some trainers to deal with right here. You found a trainer while gathering berries. Cook Stewart. Let's go. An Applin. The heck is that? It's an apple. Alright. Choose Nuzzle. The Paralyzed. And then we'll use... Oh. Okay, it's not very effective. I might want to switch out. Or maybe use a different move. One of the two. Uh, let's try Bite. Let's bite this apple. Okay. Alright, this Pokemon has a lot of defense. Or our attacks are weak. Probably our attacks are weak. It did use a withdraw, so its defense is slightly higher. But yeah, I'm just super happy we caught Surfetched and got him all... Or Farfetched and got him the Surfetch and stuff. I know, like, uh, nature-wise and stuff, he's not the best. But because it's our, it's the first one we've ever gotten, I'm definitely going to keep him on our team. In the future, what we can do is we can uh, try and get, we can try and breed Pokemon and get uh, eggs and stuff, and we can do that for the Pokemon like Surfetch and stuff later on. But yeah, we're definitely keeping Surfetch for a while at least. I think he's a great addition to the team. Plus, he's a Fighting type, which we actually didn't have one right at the moment. I mean, we have a lot in the box, but this is a really unique one. But yeah, this battle take a little bit of time, just kind of just using Astonish. But we're healing up with leftovers and using Fight. Yeah. So yeah, we're currently going on Route 5 towards the second gym. So yeah, we want to try and make our way there. And yeah, I think we have a solid team right now. Eventually, I do want to get my team to be all... Uh, just a Galar Pokemon, so Nuzleaf will eventually be replaced, I think. But yeah, he's a good addition for now. We got a tent over here. The secret to preparing an amazing meal is stirring it just right over the perfect heat. You know what you're doing great if the top of the pot starts sparkling. Why not stop by my camp and practice cooking a bit? I'm okay. I saw some glitter glistening things here. Yeah, we got mushrooms there. Okay. Uh, we have more grass, more Wobbuffet. I'm not going to deal with them. Is there any Pokeballs? No. Okay. There's a couple of trainers up here. So we'll battle these trainers. Let's see how we do. I know we kind of took the long way around, but this way allows us to catch more Pokemon to train, so... We could have just gone straight to the right from up above, but that's boring. Alright. Let's go, Yamper. Need the... I want to see... I actually don't know what Yamper evolves into, and I want to find out. I actually don't... I don't know when it evolves either. So maybe it... I feel like he would evolve pretty soon, you know? Like... It's an early route Pokemon. We're in like the 20s, like early 20s, mid, actually we're near the mid 20s, so. Yeah. I feel Yamper might evolve soon. Just based on math, mathematics, and all that. Okay, sent out Celine, what the? 
That looks like a grass type to me. I mean, it knows Razor Leaf, so that's a good probability. Which means Electric is not very effective. Okay. We did paralyze it, though. I guess we'll try biting it now. See how that works out. We use Bite. Numb. Alright. Okay. But yeah, I think we have a good team right now. This is a good start. But yeah, I do. I am thinking about keeping Surfish for a while. Just because. Okay. Almost defeated this Pokemon here. Let's use Tackle. Oh, use the Potion. Dang it. Yeah, we're not going to do enough damage in this hit. Probably. Not quite. We did good, though. Okay. Alright, bite. Got him. Alright, cool. But yeah, I'm just psyched that we got some new Pokemon last episode. We did get the Surfetch. We also caught a lot of Pokemon that are kind of just in my memory from the past, like a Drift Bloom and a Wobbuffet. I mean, he's not super memorable for me, Wobbuffet, but I know Wa Wobbuffet is a dangerous Pokemon from what I remember because of how, it, how Wobbuffet works, basically. You have to use a lot of either very low power moves or like status effect moves. It's very weird. Yeah. The Emperor is a slow Pokemon, isn't he? Everyone seems to outspeed the Emperor so far that we've fought in these battles. Which is not great, but... Not a lot we can do about it. I mean, we could just use Nuzzle or Spark. That works, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, para Paralysis is good for slow Pokemon. So now we can outspeed you. Cool. But yeah, we're trying to make our way through this route. But I'm taking as many opportunities as I can to train because I want to be as powerful as I can be. So that's why I'm not rushing through. I'm catching a lot of different Pokemon that we can either train or do whatever we want with. I don't know. I just want to take my time and enjoy the game, you know? I mean, what, this is like 12, episode 12 or 13 or something? Like, we're taking our time. It took us a while to get to the first gym. Although that might have just been how the game was designed. Not really our fault. Ooh, a Ralts. Okay. Well. I know my I know Ralts is a psychic type. Bite is a dark type move. Which means that should be super effective. Oh. Okay, maybe not. I think Ralts did Ralts get the fairy typing? I still don't, I don't know the fairy type strengths and weaknesses, so maybe I don't know. <laughs> a cutie fly. It is cute. I'm guessing it's a flying type. Or it could just be a fairy. That's true too. We'll do a spark though. And that worked well. Yeah, I need to learn the newer typings that were added in the last... I need to learn fairy typing, basically. <laughs> I don't think there was any new other typings besides that. No. That doesn't make sense. No, I think fairy is the newest one. That was in the... I want to say that was in, like... That was either in the Alola games, which is like... Oh boy, what games are they in? I missed a couple of games 
so I don't know which ones they are. We got a building here. Hello. Nice to see a new face. This is the Pokemon Nursery. We take care of people's Pokemon here. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we find eggs. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't... Right now, I don't have Pokemon that can do that, I don't think. So, that's cool. Welcome. Is there anything you'd like to know about? Uh, tell me about the nursery. Uh, take care of the Pokemon. They won't get strong, but they will sometimes drop eggs. You don't... Okay. Tell me about Pokemon eggs. Uh, if you put it in your party, the Pokemon will hatch from it. No one knows where they come from. Okay. Talk, what Pokemon should I leave? Two Pokemon. Two of the same species with different genders. If the species are similar, we may still find a Pokemon egg. Um, yeah. I'm good. Okay, thank you. Hello there. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and carried it with me and it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. We received Toxel. Okay, we got a new Pokemon. An electric poison type. It stores poison in an internal in an internal poison sack and secretes that poison through its skin. If you touch this Pokemon, a tingling sensation follows. Okay, that's a really unique typing. A nickname? No. Uh, I just want to look at your summer real quick. Okay. So it knows Nuzzle and Acid as its two basic good moves. Um, dark, Ghost, and Bug-type Pokemon scare the Pokemon and boost its speed stat. That's very interesting. Um... I think I'm not gonna... This is a really cool looking Pokemon, but I think for now I want to send it to the box. Maybe one day we'll train a Toxel. We obtained 5 XP candy excess. Thank you. Okay, cool. Eggs are found at Pokemon nurseries. Candy can be found at Max Raid Battles. You made a nice friend today. Thank you. He did give us a new Pokemon, so that's cool. Okay. Let me think. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing good. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, I just hand over that bike already. We need to cross this long bridge. We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream. How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Hey, young gym challenger. They're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. Alright, I'll take them down. Boy, we're not trying to steal the bike. Only borrow it. We're going to use it to chase after gym challengers and make them all tired. But if you think... In but I'm thinking you deserve a special shadow. I'm going to crush you in battle. All right. Let's go, Team Yell Grunts. Zigzagoon. Surfetch would be good here. I think they're dark types. Oh, well. We did want to get level up the Amper a bit, so we're doing that. Wow. Almost a one-shot. Nice job, Yamper. Alright. We'll do tackle. Should be good enough. Good job, Yamper. Alright. Level 24. Yamper is getting pretty strong. I like it. Send out what? Whoa, that looks cool. He's got a little mustache. 
I'm gonna use Nuzzle to paralyze you right away. Just to be safe. This Pokemon looks like it evolves from that Nicket Pokemon. I think we have a Nicket, right? I can't remember. <laughs> that one Pokemon looks like a fox in the beginning of the game. I think that looks like something it would evolve from. That might be true. Looks really cool, though. I like his little mustache. It's funny. Alright, we're healing up. Alright, we'll do another spark. That might do the battle. Maybe. Good job, Yamper. Alright. Wulu is Nuzleaf leveled up. Nice. Good job. We defeated the Grunt. Alright. Yeah, you got a crushed. Don't get in your way. Too bad. We're challenged by the Grunt again. Another one. Ooh, a Sableye. I remember you, Sableye. You were in my Pokemon Emerald game. Although I don't know if I don't think I really ever had one. I just saw you in there. Cool. You're a cool Pokemon. I remembered back in those games, Sableye didn't have any weaknesses. I don't think because of its typing. But it, I mean, Sableye wasn't like super strong, so it wasn't like too OP. I think that was how it worked. It changed the Astonish. It looks really interesting. It looks kind of weird now, actually. Like, you turn around and, like, scare him. It's changed. Oh, well. I almost got you, Sableye. You're going down. Okay. Alright, cool. Surfish leveled up too. They were too distracted by the bike. Awesome. They're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for our lady. You ain't seen the last of us. Alright, bye. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex. That means you ever rode him. I think I'll give this bike to you then. Better that you have it. Oh, sweet. We got a bike. You know that Rotom loves motor motors a lot, right? Enough to, to jump into machines that have them. So that got me thinking. If I attach a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop in that as well. Right. Give it a shot. Enjoy going with Rotom. Chop, chop. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. We got a Rotom bike. This bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom. Yep. I'll read the manual. Press the plus or minus button to ride your bike. Okay. Uh, plus. Oh, cool. We got a bike. Look at us go. Oh, I saw some. A muscle feather. An item, it slightly increases the attack base points of a single Pokemon. We got a bike! What is the problem with those Team Yell goons? They cause so much trouble. Yeah, they're a little annoying. They're not too bad, though. Ooh. A health feather raises HP. Okay. That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. You're going to battle there, too. Okay. Sounds good. Get it. It's hard to control the bike. 
Resist feather. Increases defense, okay. So these are obviously all just like stat items that you can do to level stats. This is speed, it's the swift one. I'm just gonna walk, oh. There you are, Stealth Jacob. <laughs> I'm warning you though. Any closer, we're gonna have to battle, you and me. Okay. Um, Amper. Do I want to switch Amper out for someone? Mm. I'm gonna start it. Yeah, we'll start with the Amper. That's fine. The Amper's a little beat up. We'll be good. It's Hop. What's he gonna do? I warned you. Both of us have the grass badge. This is perfect training. Hop, you're going down. We're challenged by Hop. All right. Hop's a doubt. Woo -loo. All right, Yamper. I'm gonna need you to paralyze the Wulu. Okay, Hop. You are going down. I'm gonna paralyze your Wulu. Wulu knows double kick. All right. Very good, that paralyzed, nice. So now we're faster. Plus we got leftovers to heal. Okay. We're running out of sparks to use, that's a bit bad. You're trying to turtle up, huh? It's not gonna work. We're just gonna heal. <laughs> That's OP. Alright. Oh, Hop used the potion. Okay. We got him to waste his potion early on. That's good. I'm gonna use Bite a couple of times just to lower Wubu's health a little bit before we use another Spark. Will Spark defeat Wulu in one hit here? I think so. We'll find out. Alright. Did it work? It did. Nice. Nice job. Alright, Corva Squire leveled up. Alright, Amper's gaining some health. Oh, you evolved your starter, finally. Cool. Raboot. Okay. I'm gonna paralyze you first, as usual. There we go. Nice. And we'll do Spark, I think. We are running out of Spark, so we gotta be careful. Although, he only has three Pokemon total, so... We can always swap out if we run out or, or need to. Alright, Spark. Okay, that doesn't do a ton of damage, so I'll use Bite instead. Alright. Wait, even while paralyzed, you're still faster than me? Yamper, you are slow. <laughs> What's going on? Oh well. We'll just whittle you down. That'll be okay. We'll use Bite a couple more times. Alright, we're getting him down. Keeps using Growl instead of any attacking moves, so... This is fine. Just taking a little bit of time to defeat him, though. That's okay. Now uh, we'll do, a uh, Spark here. Alright, we'll use Spark. 
Oh, that actually didn't get him. Okay. He has used Growl a lot, so... I think I'll switch out after I defeat him. I'll go with Bite. Yeah, our attack is going to be really low, and that's all Gamper is doing, is attacks. Or uh, physical attacks, so... Yeah, we'll swap you out, Yamper. You're doing good. Leveled up to 25 as well. Yeah, we'll do a swap out. Every one of my Pokemon is an ace. No problem. Corvusquire. Oh, you have one too. Oh. Aw. This be a great Pokemon to keep out, but my attack is really low. Oh well. We'll switch to Drizzle. Let's go with Starter. Let's defeat him. I mean, we do have a massive level improvement over you. So we should be good. We'll do Water Pulse. Not quite a one hit, but pretty good. One more should be all we need. There we go. Corpus Squire has fainted. Nice. We beat Hop again. We both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how'd you get so much stronger? Uh, I did a lot of training, Hop. <laughs> the Emperor's evolving! Yes! Hop, uh, what are you gonna turn into? Whoa! That looks awesome! Boltund. That looks awesome! This Pokemon generates electricity and channels it into his legs to keep them going strong. Can run non-stop for three full days. That looks awesome. You've gotten stronger. Seems like you've got to train even harder from now on. Yeah, you do. we got to revive. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. Okay. So water type, good thing I was training Yamper. Awesome. So yeah, we got a new Pokemon. In Bolton. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the leftovers from ya. Put it in my bag. Uh, I just want to check real quick. Let's look at our Pokemon box. So we know the gym leader is a water type. Is there any... We have electric if you wanted, but we already have Bolton, so I think we're good for that. Um, this was a grass type, right? It was a ghost grass. I'm just trying to think of what... You know Razor Leaf and Leech Seed, those are pretty good moves. Plus Confuse Ray. I don't think this... I don't know what, gen, what game that Pokemon's from, but... I think I might put you on our team instead of Nuzleaf. Just because Nuzleaf I am familiar with. I'm not familiar with you, though. Pumpkaboo. Okay. Plus, we do have Boltund already, which is high leveled. That's awesome. Surfetched. To the front. Let's go, Surfetch. Yeah, this is. We're just doing some training. I want to get. I want to have new Pokemon, at least in our party, when we do things like this. And yeah, this Pokemon can be a help. Okay. Oh, we got more Wobbuffet. Another Surfetch. I want to try and catch him. Maybe we can get another Surfetch and then breed him and stuff and get the perfect one. All right. We'll just try and whittle you down. This is what you can become. <clears throat> We're only two levels higher, but we evolved, so. Yeah, Surfetch is cool. What we can also do is, um, maybe we can get a Pokemon. 
So, like, Surfetch is a version exclusive Pokemon, I think. We could get a bunch of them and do things like surprise trades with them and give them to people that don't have a Surfetch. I think that'd be pretty cool. But every time I see a Farfetch in this game, I need to catch it because of how rare they can be. Although we are finding a couple of them right away, which is cool. So now we have another, we have a Farfetch again. Which we can evolve if we want. Although, I might want to keep him just for like breeding purposes. We need to find a Ditto at some point. Farfetch has a leak, what do you want to do? Uh, oh. I'm gonna send it to the box so you can hold it. Yeah, the leak is useful. Oh. There was an exclamation. What is that? A dottler. That's new looking. I wanna catch you. Wait. Yeah, I don't have you, but I know. Okay. I guess I know what's super effective on him. What? We got a crit. Okay. Well, we got him the really low HP. I'm gonna cut you right away. Uh, let's just throw a Pokeball. Should be good. All right. We're catching more sir for Farfetched and stuff, which is great. Got a dollar. That's a new one for us. But yeah, I'm thinking, like, for... Because surprise trade, people are going to put anything. I thought I'd give people something useful if I ever do it. So, maybe when we're, like, later in the game and we have a bunch of Pokemon, we can do that. Okay, so that's a Bug Psychic type. Looks neat. You can go with the box. Cool. All right. But anyway, uh, we'll fight you first. Surfetch needs to level up. I don't know if it'll level up, but get stronger. Use Rock Smash. Oh, never mind, he used Sing first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Surfetch, you're supposed to be faster than that. Oh well. He'll wake up eventually. And when he does, we're going to use Rock Smash and destroy you. As soon as we wake up. Hopefully that's soon. We woke up and we used Rock Smash. And you're gone. <laughs> awesome. Alright. I just wanted to do that real quick. Alright. Level 23 for Wooloo and for Surfetch. All right. Okay, cool. But anyways, that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Sword. If you guys enjoyed this episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, you can give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions for me, you can leave a comment down below. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!